everyone and welcome back to Sticky Goose Gaming and Collectibles. We're talking about the Uncanny X-Force today, our first Marvel Omnibus review. So in one of our previous videos, we did Absolute Preacher, which is a collected edition. It's where there's multiple single issues all compiled together, usually from a single author or a single run of a certain uh, a certain story, and in this case, this is the Uncanny X-Force by Rick Remender and others. So this collects um, the Uncanny X-Force 1 through 35, and there's a couple additional stories. There's a Wolverine story and a Deadpool story at the end, kind of where he first got his um, start. Like I said, we just recently got into this Omnibus game, and um, it was one that they said that would be a good starting point because one of the issues with comics is people don't know where to start, especially with superhero stuff, because there's just so many alternate timelines and you don't know who's with who and yada, yada, yada. You don't know the full story. And that's what kind of drew me to, to books like Preacher and um, uh, Sandman is because it was, you know, there's an ad definitive start. Well, this is advertised as something that, you know, you can jump right in. I disagree with that. Um, you have to have a little bit of a background knowledge at a minimum of the X-Men. I mean, everybody knows Wolverine, and I'm sure at this point everybody knows Deadpool, which is what attracted it to me, but characters in this, like um, Angel, Archangel, Psylocke, Nightcrawler, Deathlock, and this um, Phantom X. So, I mean, I had never, I mean, I've... <laughs> been into comics, well, known comic book characters for pretty much my whole life, and I had never heard of Phantom X. So I'm sure I'm not the only one, and he is a major part of the story. And um, to go in and to be reading a character and you have no background knowledge, and he's communicating with the other characters, it's kind of off-putting, and it kind of was a kind of a tricky start because I'm reading the first part of the book, and it's like, I don't know what's going on. I hate that feeling. All right, so a funny thing about this book is um, on the cover, there is a misprint or a mistake. And I mean, not unless you really inspected your books, there's a tilde just like randomly here. And apparently this is like a reprint of, of this omnibus and they did not correct this on the dust jacket. That's kind of sad. Um, this is the back of the book. It is a parental advisory um, because there are some adult themes, but in comparison to some of the things that I've been reading, <laughs> this isn't even anywhere close. I mean, there is some cursing, but um, compared to Preacher, like this is a, this is a children's story. Um, this book is out of print now. Um, you can't even like get this unless you pay for a ridiculous amount of money. I was lucky enough to get this on Amazon before it completely just went out, out the, out the wazoo. Cause this is, I mean, to pay some of the people are asking like on eBay, they're asking $300 for this book. That is absolutely insane. I mean, you'd have to be the biggest uncanny X force fan ever. And I'm sure they're out there, but to spend that kind of money, that's crazy. Um, when you take the dust jacket off, it's just a black um, book. And then on the other side is is the squad there. There's the team. But um, the art inside is um, kind of an interesting, interesting look. So this is art that was a little off-putting at first. Um, it was, it's darker, not in a grittier sense. Well, it is a little gritty, but like, it's just actually dark. It, it's kind of hard to see what's going on in some of the panels. And like, it was a little off-putting. And um, I, I, there was m multiple times when I was reading, I was like, I'm not really sure what's going on. This omnibus is kind of just following Reminder's run. Well, there are different artists in it. So I was kind of finding myself like excited for like an artist change every now and then because I was like, I'm just tired of looking at this same kind of art. As far as the story goes, this feels like a 
animated series or like super cartoony. Um, so many of your characters are immortal. <laughs> I mean, Wolverine is immortal, Deadpool's immortal, and the stakes, um, I feel like are lower because of that. Um, I think the dialogue for the most part is good and they do this cool thing where you, um, each character, when they're like thinking to themselves, they have their own little text box and their color associated with it that kind of lets you know what they're thinking. But as far as the writing specifically for Wolverine, I just don't understand why he wrote Wolverine like that. Um, he, I just think he missed it. Uh, when I, when I read, when I read his, his text blocks and, you know, his, his dialogue, I was like, I, I, is this Wolverine? He did a pretty good job with Deadpool, but uh, I've read other things that are of Deadpool that are just way funnier. Um, Phantom X kind of feels like just a ripoff of Deadpool in a lot of ways, and he was like immortal. This book is kind of silly. Like it's, a lot of it to me just seemed kind of nonsensical but I just kept reading it. Like, it, it's one of those, it's like, it's just like feel good reading. Like, it's just like a feel good book. Um, you know, it's not super dark, you know, you're not getting disturbed watching this, disturbed. But it's like, you know, it's like, it was just something that, you know, you just pick up and read. It's just, it's a fun read. Um, I can understand why People say, you know, this would be something to, you know, pick up as a starter because it's not super difficult to read. It's not super, um, like super, um, you have to have a whole lot of background knowledge. It's just something that, you know, you just pick up, read it and move on with your day. So if you can get this at a reasonable price, I definitely say get it. And also as like from a collector's perspective, this book I mean, if I, I would make a profit if I sold this now, so um, I, I doubt that I'd do that. I, I like the collectability of them, and I may want to go back and read them. Um, once I kind of do more research, I may, you know, go back and read some of the precursory material and, you know, see, you know, where some of these characters are coming from or why they led to becoming in the X-Force. Um, I will probably read this again at a later time because I think reading it a second time, you kind of ha have that background of Phantom X. I'll have that background of Angel and especially Psylocke. I think she was kind of the star of the show in this. Um, unfortunately, they kind of made her into a trope where um, she's the only female in the group and she has like a love story with almost every... <laughs> character in the in the in the x-force which i was like man this is i don't know this doesn't seem very timely but um this was a fairly recent recent recently made book i mean this is like a 2010 run so i don't know um i'm not all down on it it's it's a good read it's fun it's definitely a collector's item it's well made good spine um and uh it's worth your money Thank you guys for watching. Um, I want you guys to do me a huge favor here. Um, if you guys could share one of our videos or share our channel on one of your social media uh, outlets, platforms, that would be huge for us. Um, and just uh, let us know if you did so we can, we can give you a shout out. Um, we really appreciate that. We're almost at 50 subscribers, which is crazy that uh, we just started this thing not too long ago and we've already got so many people watching. We really appreciate it. So I hope you guys take care and uh, we'll see you next time.